Keeping your pesticide spray tank clean is essential to effective pest management. You never want to accidentally mix chemicals due to safety reasons as well as possibly affecting the chemical you're trying to spray. Cleaning your sprayer correctly and regularly will keep it in good working condition and reduce how often you need to purchase replacement parts. It can be tricky getting all of the residue out of the tank, hose, wand, and nozzle, so here's what you should do. We recommend using a cleaning solution to help with the process, especially if you're using different chemicals in the sprayer. With most cleaners, you'll want to fill the sprayer halfway with water. Once filled halfway, shake or agitate it well. Then, take the cleaning agent and add it to the tank according to the product label. Each product will have different mixing ratios, so make sure to thoroughly read the label of the product you've chosen. Put the lid back on the tank and agitate the tank with the cleaner and water inside so that it mixes together. Agitate for about 45 to 60 seconds. After mixing, pump up the sprayer so that it becomes pressurized. Now spray out the entire contents of the tank. This will clean out the pesticide in the tank, hose, and wand. Once the tank is empty, you should triple rinse the tank by filling it back up with water only and spraying it out completely three times in a row. We recommend doing this after every application. Pro tip, leave the top askew when you're done cleaning your sprayer. This will let the sprayer dry between uses and help reduce the chance that standing water will damage your sprayer gaskets. Only use bleach or chlorine-based products in sprayers specifically labeled for these chemicals. Otherwise, they can break down the components of most sprayers not specifically labeled for them. And it's that easy, with the expert help from DoMyOwnPestControl.com. Subscribe to our channel for more DIY and product videos.